As we all know, artificial intelligence is becoming really powerful, making it easier than ever before for developers to write code. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to build an app completely from scratch easily without writing that much code. And to do this, I'm gonna use some pretty cool AI technologies that maybe you've never even heard of before. One of which is called Locify, which seamlessly turns a front-end design from something like Figma or Adobe XD into working code. If you don't know what I mean, well, let me show you. So I came up with this application called Code Buddy. The idea is simple. You give it some code and it gives you an explanation of that code so that you can understand it. And like a lot of developers or developer teams do before they start coding the application, I came up with a design. So right here, I have the design for Code Buddy. So it's a simple app design, right? I have the title of the application at the top, Code Buddy, and then I have a user input at the bottom where a user would enter some code and then what would be returned is the explanation of that code. So on the right, you could see the code is being entered and then on the left, it returns the response, which is the explanation of the code. So this would be useful for someone browsing a GitHub repository or going through a project's code. They find a snippet of code they don't understand. They put it in here, they get an explanation and then they understand it. As another example that we have up here, if you're going through like a React or Next.js project and you found a little component that you didn't understand, you just copy and paste it, enter it in below, hit send. And then up here, we could obviously see this just a component. It has some user state. The initial state is Jess hall is the name of the user you could update the name of the user it returns a component displaying hello to the name of the user and then passes some prompts to another component now i'm pretty familiar with react so i already understand what's going on up here but if i didn't i'd use code buddy i'd go to the bottom i'd put that snippet in and then my response would be for example the use state hook allows the creation of the state variable right so we have this user state we could update it with set user function and then we have the initial value jess hall when the component's rendered the value of the user is displayed in the component when it's rendered it's displaying hello user in that header tag and then it's passed down to component two as a prop like we just said right so it's a simple code explainer application however this is just a figma design for it I haven't written any code for it. I just am like, oh, this is kind of what I want it to look like. Now, what if I told you that AI has gotten to the point where we could take this design and turn it into working code? You'd probably be pretty confused, right? You wouldn't think you could just, oh, what? We have a design and then we hit a button and then it turns into a working application, right? That can't possibly happen. Well, not exactly yet, right? That would be pretty crazy. But what you can do is take a design now and use AI to convert the front end into working front end code, right? Now, obviously, like I said, we can't just go from design to working application with a click of a button. We obviously have to add stuff like the functionality to the application. Like in this case, we're entering code snippets and getting an explanation back. So in that case, a pretty good API for that would be the OpenAI ChatGPT API. Right, if you took a code snippet and you went to ChatGPT and entered it and said explain it, you'd get a pretty good explanation at this point. So there's still gonna be a bunch of coding you have to do, right? There's a lot of coding that goes into making an application. It's not all front end, but this is a really impressive, innovative AI technology for transforming a design into a front end application pretty much instantly. So let me show you how this works. So I have this design for Code Buddy, And now if we go to the top left, we can go to our extensions and you can see plugins is here. So you would just search this and it's integrated into Locify, so you just click that. And then you can just click on this, hit run, and then you would just sign into your Locify account. This is completely free to use. And when you sign in on Locify, you're gonna make a project and then pick what kind of front end code you want your design to be generated into, right? So whether that's React or React Native or something as simple as HTML, CSS, Next.js, Gatsby, any of these things, you're gonna select that and then you can just convert this design into that front end application code that you want. So once you're logged in, it's a step-by-step -step process and it's pretty straightforward. Step one is a design optimizer. Basically you're optimizing the code that your design gets turned into. So it's gonna optimize for the structure, it's going to auto layout and make things that need to be responsive, responsive in the code. And then lastly, it's going to let you handle different screen sizes and give you some options to show you what it's gonna look like on different screen sizes. And we have different elements of our design that we can modify and see how they're going to look like on different screen sizes. So for example, here we have the navigation bar. So we'll hit fix. And now we have this interactive preview that we can just switch between 
between screen sizes and as you can see it's going to show us the navigation bar on all these different kinds of screen sizes and we'll also be able to change some properties of these things like so for example with the navigation bar like we would want it to look like this but you could see how the little hamburger menu if we wanted it we could have it vertical or we could put it horizontally we would obviously want it horizontally so once you're done fixing these things, like I could just go down to have adjusted the settings and we're done. And now we can look at the message wrapper, for example, look in the different screen sizes for the messages. Looks good to me. So I'm gonna say I've adjusted the settings for this. I'm gonna apply it. And now we're done with the design optimizer. Next up, we'll tag the elements of our design with coding elements so that it knows what to convert into. And Locify is pretty cool. It's an AI technology that it can auto tag these with Loco AI if we want to. So down below, we. We have this input text field right this is where people are entering the code so they get the explanation right but this is an input html tag so we want locify to know that so like for example if we select on this and now we're over here and we get to manually tag it if we want to we have all these HTML things, right? Is it a link? Is it a text? We have to select it. Is this a form? Obviously it's none of these, it's an input. So we're gonna select input. And if you like using different UI libraries, you have these options. We're gonna say none for now. You can edit the properties and values of that HTML. In this case, we're not gonna do that. I'm just showing you guys how it works. So we'll hit done and that is going to turn into code. So it'd be the same thing with the button, for example. We'd go down, we'd select this button, and then we'd manually select. What is it? Oh, is it a text link? No, it's a button, obviously. We'll just go no UI library. Uh, you could add whatever you want on here for properties. And what's also cool is while you're tagging the elements of your design, right? So we just tag the button, we can go to this preview option and we can actually get a preview of what the code is going to function like with that HTML. So if you go down here, you could actually see that you could enter input and you could actually click on the button. As you tag these things, you could preview and see what the code is going to function or look like. So now we've designed, optimized, and tagged our elements. And the last step of the Locify process is an optional step, but they have components from UI libraries. So if you want to add cool components, pre-built components from UI libraries into your design. Some of them are pretty cool. That's something you can do, right? So you click on this drag and drop, look at this stuff. So I could literally just drag any of these on if I wanted to, any of these buttons or different other things. So pretty easy process so far. Now, once you're happy with what your design looks like in the preview, you can actually go to view code. And then you're gonna go to all frames. And you're gonna do view code in builder. So now once you're in the Locify builder, your code for your front end is pretty much generated. Like the components are generated. I chose React.js in this case. So I have a React.js front end based on that design generated, that's it. And what's really cool is when you first get into the Locify Builder, you'll have this component wizard feature that's going to scan your design and make recommendations for components and props. So as we can see here, just from our Figma design, Locify is able to scan it and notice that this would be a header component. So it recommends for us that we should turn this header into a React component. And if we don't want to, of course, we could just reject it, but I'm gonna hit accept. So the component wizard's pretty cool, especially for something like React.js, where you're gonna have a lot of components. And then if we wanna go through the rest of our design and add more components, we could select different things and make those components as well. And so from here, we have all of our front end code, right? So that is how simple it was to go from a design, whether you use Figma or Adobe XD, for example, I make a design for an application, I do that, and now I have the front end code for it. So that is pretty cool for a lot of reasons and a lot of different people out there. So like if you're a designer, but you don't have the coding experience, you can easily generate code now just like that. Or for example, like a lot of us, if you work in a fast paced environment, like a startup, whether it's yourself or a developer team, if you have a designer and you wanna try out a bunch of different designs, but you don't wanna spend that time writing all of that front end code, trying different things out, he could actually just convert the designs into code that easily now and just copy and paste code snippets, try out different designs. So it's super cool. And this Locify Builder has so many options. You could customize everything you could go through, change the file names, go through all the components, right? You have all of the code right here. So you could like flip through things, edit things and all of that stuff. If I wanna make anything on here, a React component, cause in this case we're using React, I could go through like, okay, so we have a message wrapper. You can see that highlights here, go over. Oh, now we can make it a component. Let's create it. You can customize it and add all the props you need. So, okay, now I have to add value props. So that's like the message, right? So let's click on this, the text, and uh, let's change the prop name to message. So now we have a message prop, we'll save that. And same thing with reply, right? So now I have a message component. Now let's make a reply component, right? So we go to reply wrapper. Okay, let's make a component, create, go to props, 
add a value prop, click on the text there, because that's gonna be the prop, and let's say reply, right? So you can make the changes, customize everything, change the code, make components, do all the stuff you gotta do. You can look at the different screen sizes and everything. Uh, and then you could even view the prototype, see how it works, like look on the different screen size again, all this stuff, mess around with it a little bit. And then once you're done, they make it super easy. So I can like just deploy this. Like say I just made a front end only application and it was really simple. I could just deploy from here, right? So you could export or deploy. So we could deploy to Netlify, Vercel, GitHub Pages, any of these. So this would be good for like a website portfolio or something like that. But let's say your application is more complex. It has more coding. In this case, we wanna maybe integrate chat GPT API. So I'm going to go over to the top and hit export project. We could just download the code. Boom, we got it. So let's download it, prepares the zip file, downloaded. So that is it, right? I have this front end application on my computer now. So I had the design for my Code Buddy app, and now I have all the front end code that easily, right? That was an instant. I think that's insane. I have not seen anything like this before, but we have to obviously finish the functionality now for this application. And to do that, we're gonna use even more AI. That's right, just like I said, chat GPT API. So now that we've exported the project onto our computer, I can move into that directory and I can open it up in Visual Studio Code. And here you can see we have a bunch of errors right off the bat, but that's because we need to install the node modules. So we'll just go back and do yarn install wait for those to install. And from there we could start our app, which is a React.js application. So this should look exactly like the Figma design. And it does. So this is a functional React.js app that's running currently, and we didn't have to code it at all. This was completely generated by Locify, and we have all of the code right here. So this is a fully functional front-end React app. However, this is just the front end application. Obviously, it doesn't have that functionality to explain the code yet because we didn't actually hook it up to the OpenAI API. So to do that, we could just Google OpenAI API key and click the first link. We could generate an API key here. So I'm gonna create a key and then copy it over to my application. I'll head back over to my application and I will create a .env file because we'll store it in an environment variable. So I'll call it React OpenAI API key and then we'll just put our API key. This isn't my exact one, but this is what it would look like. And then from here, we'll just need to add a little bit of functionality to the app. And so right now, if we go to the main file of our component, we could see there's some hard coding going on for those messages, which we don't want. And you can see the other components are being used here, like the messages and replies, and then they're just passing in those messages that are displayed at the moment. So what we actually wanna do right now is take real input from the user and send it to the API and then get our result back and display it like that. So the first thing I'll need is some component state that can be updated with those messages and replies. After that, we'll just remove all the hard-coded things from our chat wrapper here. So let's go here. And then after that, all I need to do is add a couple of important functions to send our code and then get the results and display them. So we have our function call API, which is gonna take a prompt and then it's gonna ping that API endpoint we need for the code explanations. And then when we get our explanation back, we'll just update our state so that we have that information to display. We'll have our input box component at the bottom with the input and the button that takes the input and then it will call that function explain code with the code that we need explained. And then we have the explain code function which will actually call the API. And then from there, instead of hard coding, all we need to do is map our state messages. And then we have a fully functional application. So that's pretty much the entire process of coding an application from scratch using this new AI technology. It's really cool stuff and can definitely speed up a lot of people's developer workflows. Now, a lot of people are definitely worried about AI automation when it comes to programming, but I do wanna remind you guys that this is low code stuff. It's not no code. There's still gonna be a lot of coding involved and AI technology is not at the point where it can solve all of our problems. Tools like these are meant to be used to speed up your workflow. We'll of course still need front end engineers to do a lot of different things. But if you guys are interested in Locify, I'm gonna link it in the description. I highly recommend you go try this out and we should all be keeping up with these new AI technologies as they are released. And I'll also put a link to the OpenAI API because if you didn't know, that's out now too. And a lot of different companies and softwares are integrating that now. Thank you guys again for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.